Hello students, today we're going to be learning about um, parts of plot. So you should have already watched Doug's Special Mission, which is a cute short Pixar film, and we're going to be breaking that film down into the parts of plot, so it's important that you've watched it already. If not, please go back and watch that right now. And first we're going to start out with a simple definition. What is plot? So plot, simply put, is just the series of events that make up a story. Why do we need plot? Good question. Well, first of all, um, parts of plot are used in all good stories. If you've ever read a story or heard a story where you're kind of confused or you didn't understand the point, they were probably missing parts of plot. If you understand how plot works, you'll be better able to understand the stories you read. And on the flip side, you'll also be able to tell and write better, more interesting stories um, for your audience. A typical plot has six main parts. The exposition, the conflict, the rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. And obviously we are going to start with exposition. So simply put, the exposition is the beginning of a story. And in the beginning of the story, you need to set up what's going on so that your, um, your audience understands the setting, the characters who's involved, and the background information that's necessary. Um, if you don't do this, your, your audience, your readers, your listeners are going to be very confused. They're not going to really understand what's going on. Now, take a second and think back to Doug's special mission, and you're going to answer a few questions right now about um, the setting, characters, and background, and what was the exposition in this short film. Okay, so now that you've had some time to reflect, um, the important parts of the exposition are really at the very, very beginning. We realize that our main character is going to be Doug, who is a talking dog, and there are other mean dogs that are involved, and they're all supposed to be hunting a bird. So those are kind of our characters and a little bit of background information. Our setting is on a cliff with boulders. Um, it's a little bit foreign looking. It doesn't look like any area around where we are. So you can kind of assume that it's maybe a, an exotic location. And we also find out at the very beginning that it is Doug's birthday and he has made a special wish. So that's kind of like all the things you need to know to get set up for the story to understand what is going to happen next. All right, so moving along, we're going to talk about conflict. And um, conflict is really important because it starts, as you can see, things are kind of cruising until conflict kicks in. So conflict is simply defined as the struggle between two opposing forces. Um, this could be many different types of struggles. So we'll get more into the different types of conflict later. But just know that this is the um, catalyst or the start of the tension in the story. And the tension is there and it moves the plot along. So the main conflict has to matter to the main character. Um, it can't be something kind of silly that they wouldn't really invest a lot of time in. And the problem cannot be something that is easily fixed because in the story, the characters spend about 90% of the story um, trying to solve the main conflict. And in our story, poor Doug, the conflict starts when the mean dogs decide that they want to kind of ruin Doug's birthday and they start kind of picking on him and tricking him into doing things that he thinks is important, but um, really are not. So of course their conflict leads to what we call rising action. And rising action is um, a series of events that builds tension in the plot and creates suspense and interest in the story. So again, here we have at least three pictures from the Doug's special mission film because the rising action, um, are all, it's not just one or two things. It's usually a lot of events that lead up to this. This, um, the rising action includes any decisions that the main character makes, any mistakes that are made, any tense moments within the story. And please remember it is 90% of the story approximately. Um, it takes up most of the, the pages as you're reading. Interesting stories do not let their characters beat their problems 
I don't know if you can see that on the first try. So if you um, have a problem so simple that can be solved um, on the first attempt, that's not going to be able to carry your story as long as it needs to go. Now you're going to answer a few questions about rising action in the Pixar movie, Doug's, uh, Doug's special mission, and then we'll talk about it in a second. So now that you've had some time to think about um, the movie, we can kind of talk about what the rising action is for Doug's special mission. And so we find out the first thing that happens after the dogs decide that they want to ruin Doug's special birthday, they have him guard that big rock, which you can kind of see up here. And that ends disastrously for the mean dogs. Then um, Doug is put into a hole and told to stay there. But then that ends disastrously for the mean dogs. And so the mean dogs continue to keep trying to ruin Doug's day. But actually Doug ends up unintentionally ruining the mean dog's day. So it kind of is, that's where the humor comes in because Doug is not trying to be mean, but he's actually spoiling all their plans. So this leads us back to our plot diagram. And so after our rising action, many events of the movie and or the book you're reading or whatever, um, we get to the climax. And the climax is the most intense part of our story. This is the turning point of the story because at the end of the climax, the reader knows if the main conflict will be solved or not. Now, sorry, um, people sometimes get confused because sometimes the climax is not super clear. Um, it doesn't always have to be physical action that takes place. It sometimes is mental action um, or emotional action. So the climax is basically when you can take the um, the conflict and decide whether or not has but it has been solved that is when the climax occurs. So take a second and think about when the climax might be in our Pixar short film. So now that you've had some time to think about the climax in Doug's special mission, um, we kind of realize when Doug is um, caught, fine, well, not caught, but um, punished by the mean dogs and they call their master and they kind of officially ruin his birthday. And so that's where we find out that Doug is not going to um, successfully have a good day with the mean dogs, who he kind of thinks are his friends, but are not really. So it's a little bit of a bummer for poor Doug. He realizes that um, he's not welcome with his friends. He's going to get in trouble with the, his master and his birthday has, has been ruined. This leads us to the falling action. And just like it sounds, the falling action is when things slow down and are wrapped up in a logical conclusion or towards a logical conclusion. Sorry, it's not the logical conclusion quite yet. Um, it does not always have to be wrapped up in a positive or happy way. Fortunately for us in this story, it is. So what makes a good falling action? Well, first it slows down the action of the story. You need to kind of take a breath after that climax where the big um, event happens, the big questions are answered, and it things are slowing down now. The next um, thing is it ties up any loose ends. So any questions you still have should be answered in the following action. And finally, it gives the readers a sense of satisfaction because, again, all your questions should have been answered. So take a second and think about what you might identify as the falling action in Doug's special mission. All right, so now that you've had a few seconds to identify what the falling action is in our short Pixar film, we can talk about it. The falling action in this film is when Doug realizes he's located another master. He's sniffing around, he hears a voice, and he sees Carl, who is from the movie Up, and Russell, who is, all, is his little friend, and he sees them and he realizes that he um, could be happy with them. And that brings us to 
what we call the resolution. And the resolution is when things have been closed or resolved. And there's no other questions. Everything has been kind of wrapped up and, and answered. And um, again, this can be a happy resolution or it might not be very happy. And lucky for us, our resolution in Doug's special mission is quite cute and happy. So take a second and answer that short question that's going to pop up on your screen. Um, what is the resolution in our short Pixar film? So hopefully you have realized that the resolution in our Pixar film is that Doug realizes his wish came true. He got a new master and he is very happy um, and things end happily for Doug. And if you've ever seen the movie Up, you know how it ends there as well. So it's kind of a sweet ending to our um, little movie. And hopefully you have learned a lot about the parts of plot, what makes uh, what makes a good plot, and all the aspects of plot. So um, if you have any questions, now would be the time to ask your teachers. And um, happy reading.